Hello everyone, it's MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, let's talk 2022 and all of the good things that happened. Remember before we get started to give this video a thumbs up because it really does help in the long run, I think. And let me know down below, what are your plans for New Year's Eve? Do you stay in? Do you go out? Do you have it all planned out? Are you just chilling? Are you watching the ball drop? Let me know. Let me know if there's any traditions that you guys do on um, New Year's Eve. We have some and I'll share them later at the end of the video. How's that? All right. So. Let me scoot you in a little here because I seem like you're, you're only seeing like the top half. There we go. Got a little, little dress on for y'all for a little New Year's Eve action. Um, yeah, so 2022 has been pretty amazing, huh? I was going back and looking at my old cringy videos because that's what happens when you start a booktube channel is your first videos that you start putting out, whew, man. They're not your best. They're not your best, you know? They might be creative and all, but you as an individual trying to relate to everyone out there is just not good sometimes. But that's how we learn and that's how we grow and that's how we adapt, so. Um, but I was looking back and I'm like, oh my gosh, my channel has grown so much over the past year. And number one, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching, for subscribing, for commenting. Um, I know my longtime subscribers, I see you, Amy, out there. Um, it's just wonderful engaging with you all in the comments and getting to know you and just sharing bookish things and ideas and topics and it's just fabulous. Like, I can't even thank you. This has been like the best hobby of my life, knock on wood. Okay, so, um, so what I thought we would do is go through my channel tag, fiction, friends, and fun, and we'll go through each thing because that is what my channel's about, right? Okay, it makes total sense. So let's start with fiction. All right, 2022, I finished 77 books. Score me. Um, I met my goal of 75 books and that was to commemorate David Bowie's 75th birthday. I achieved that two or three days ago, which felt so good. When you reach a goal that you set, like it feels really good. Um, I felt like I read, I felt like I read more some days and I feel like I read less some days. Is that, does anybody else feel like that? I don't know. Um, so yeah. So the other thing that I did yesterday was I dumped all of my Goodreads information in Storygraph. Are you guys on Storygraph? Storygraph just puts out the best data. It is like the most satisfying thing in the world. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep up with Storygraph. I may do it like once every three months, once every six months, just to see where I'm at. I'm going to try instead of like importing everything over from Goodreads again. But um, I thought that would just be a really cool way to follow the trends and what I'm reading and what type of books, etc., etc. So Storygraph, I'll put pictures over here. For 2022, Storygraph told me that I like books that are under 300 pages, which is true, that I like dark, emotional, and mysterious books, which, yeah, I probably, I would definitely agree with that. Um, my number one genre of fiction was horror by a landslide, and that that filled my heart with joy because when I came into doing booktube, when I came into opening my channel and putting it myself out there, I said, I want to get back into horror and I want to get back into sci-fi. And I definitely ticked the horror box this year. I got some sci-fi in, but you know, I think this year I honestly was a well-rounded reader from my perspective because I read my first Western like, I don't read Westerns. I never, never read a Western in my life. But when there's booktube events going on and I see something called June on the Range, man, I got I gotta, just got to play along with it. And I did. And not only did I read my first Western, which was Shane, but I also got a flavor for the Long Arm series. That's a heck of a lot of fun. Long Arm, 
is like Western cowboy trash. It's men's adventure Harlequin, but not really Harlequin. But I will tell you what I like about the entanglements in long arm is that they're mostly initiated by women. They're initiated by women taking the initiative. If you know what I mean, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And I appreciate that. There's no damsels in distress. There's no ladies that are getting taken advantage of. The women are going after what they want. I'm okay with that. All right. So, um, Westerns tick the box. Um, May. May was a fantastic month because we did horror mayhem. Horror mayhem, man. It was all horror all the time, all month long. That was amazing. I hope it happens again this year. Oh gosh, I hope it happens again this year. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I tried to stay within the prompts and I tried to do, um, you know, the four weeks. And what else? Horror mayhem, June on the range. Then we had a break in July and then August was Garb August, baby. And that was fantastic. That was just fantastic. Reading garbage and trash and sex and violence and sexy books and animal themed books and WTF books. It was just amazing. And I know it's happening this year, so I'm really excited for that. I'm pretty sure June on the Range is happening again. And June on the Range this year, I'm making a group read at my channel for Lonesome Dove. Yeah, I said it. Lonesome Dove. Everyone raves about this book. This book is a chunk. It's a chunk. You know how I don't like chunks. But I am willingly and thoroughly and knowingly going into this, committing six months in advance that I'm reading Lonesome Dove. I actually bought it at a library sale in April or was it June? I don't remember when it is. It's in the spring. Um, and it, it was a dollar. And I had to have it. And I said, ooh, this means I'm going to read it. It makes it real, right? So yeah. And guess what? There's other people that want to read along with me. Um, so it's going to be a group read at my channel for Lonesome Dove in June of 2023. How about that? So yeah. So those events were really, really good. Um, I did a lot. Of, I did some buddy reads. I did my first buddy reads this year. Even though... Um, maybe my one buddy read partner, not all my buddy read partners, but one of my buddy read partners doesn't really take the buddy part seriously. Um, they just take the read part and read really fast and, you know, ditch your partner at the end, but it's still a lot of fun and I've made some great friendships over it. So, um, to everyone that participated in group reads and buddy reads over at my channel, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's just been really, really good. It's been good. So... Whew, let's see. What else? What else? How about, okay, so that's fiction. All right, that's fiction. So now we can get with friends. And again, we could talk about all the events. So Michael K. Vaughn does the um, June on the Range. The Bookish Bryants did the um, Horror Mayhem. Uh, Ollie did um, the Garb August. Just doing tags with people, doing the events, getting to know so many booktubers that I now like call friends. It's just awesome. Like it really, really is. Um, you know, it, booktube is a really magical place. I don't know how to, I just don't know how to describe it, how to say about it. I know that if I travel somewhere, if I travel to Hawaii and I'm near Maryland, I bet she would meet me for lunch. I think she would meet me, meet me for lunch. It's just the nicest community. Like the community aspect has just been fantastic. So yeah, so talking about my favorite books of the year, talking about um, the events that I participated in that I'm looking forward to, it, it all makes me want these things to happen in 2023. Um, support small booktube. Let's just take a pause, a moment of silence for support small booktube because that has been like fantastic. It's just been so much fun. I love sneaking up on channels and just randomly giving them a shout out and having people go there and subscribe if they like their content. That is such an invigorating feeling for a creator. If you're not a creator, it's almost as if like 
the person that never tells you you did a good job just told you you did a good job, you know, and gives you a little pat on the back. It's the best feeling in the world to be acknowledged by another channel to, um, you know, just draw some attention to them. And uh, the holidays ran into Sunday. It's unfortunately. So last week was Christmas. This week is New Year's. I'm taking officially taking two weeks off of support small booktube. But we're going to be back with a vengeance, baby. The first week in, oh man, the first week in January. It's Bowie's birthday. Woo! That could be a fun episode. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So when I say fiction, friends, and fun, those are the things that I'm talking about. And those are the things that I think really developed on my channel. And those are the things that are going to stay on my channel. And I'm going to treat my channel as I have. And I think I've treated my channel with dignity and with respect. And I've also, um, become more comfortable with my channel. Um, I've been more diverse with my channel in the different, um, genres that I'm reading and more open. Uh, yeah, it's just been, it's been fantastic. This honestly is like, it's the best hobby. I don't know what else to say. Books have brought me so much joy over the last few years. Um, like literally and throughout my life, but in the last two or three years, hundred percent, like, I just, I live for staying at home and reading. Introvert. Welcome introverts. This is what we got, right? Okay. So I guess that's it. Yeah. 2022 is awesome. Can we just talk about last thing, last thing I'm putting here. Can we just talk about my Garb August videos and my Garb August thumbnail? Okay. I went the extra mile for that sucker. And I think people appreciated it to show up in a Roberto Cavalli designer dress and walk, no, climb into a dumpster and get black and blue marks on my legs after because of how I had to climb in. It was just stellar. It really was. So I am including my little short and my little thumbnail because you all need to appreciate that. You just need to appreciate that. Oh, and let's not forget about my best bud, Watson. Okay. Watson has made an appearance. People love the Watson shorts. I love them too. And if I can make one person smile with my dog, or if somebody, you know, just feels good after watching one of his videos, that makes my day. Like that makes my day. So for everyone that is just here for Watson, he's not going anywhere. As long as I have my pup, he's going to be on my channel and that's it. Bottom line. And if you don't like it, Sorry, I'm not changing my channel for anybody. I think I've been true to myself throughout this whole experience. I think I've been authentic. I always say, if I'm going to meet you on the streets, this is who you're going to be seeing. You're going to be seeing MJ and this is it. May not have makeup on, may not have my hair down, maybe sweaty and stinky from the gym, but it's still me. And if you want to talk about books, I'll talk about books with you. I don't care. And that's that. <laughs> oh, what else? What else in 2022? I think those are like the big major things. Yeah. But overall, it was a great year. Um, my channel has has had over 250,000 views. I have almost 450 uploads. Like we're, we did the work. We did the work this year. There's no slacking. Um, I think I was able to get a little creative. I think my videos are a little more polished maybe. Um, and I think that's just with experience and with talking to all of you. So once again, thank you so much for making this such a great experience. Um, God, we're at 17 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this up. I wish you and yours a wonderful, wonderful new year's Eve, a fantastic new year. Let me know in the comment section down below. What superstitions do you do? What do you do to ring in the new year? I will tell you in my house, we bury money because that's what you're supposed to do. So when you bury money, it grows throughout the new year. Okay. Uh, and we eat, um, we have a pork roast on new year's day and you have to have sauerkraut with it. And when you have that, that means you will have luck throughout the year. And that is a, um, Eastern European tradition from like the Polish side of the family. And I think that's it. 
I think those are the two big traditions. I don't open up the doors and sweep anything out. Probably going to sage my house for sure. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. So let me know in the comment section down below. And I will be staying up and having a glass of champagne um, like I always do. And Duran Duran is going to be on New York Times. Uh, they're going to be in Times Square this year singing. So make sure you check out my buds. All right. That's it, everyone. So until next time. Goodbye for now.